song together. We're going to do this song together. It's been a long time we did this song together, ain't it? Cobams. Make some noise for him. Come on. Yeah. We're Christians. We like to keep things on the low, but some of y'all don't know. This guy, he's amazing. There's some songs that you've heard that you don't know who's behind it. It's this guy. I'm talking about people like Common, Angelic Kijo, Asha, Mivun, Rooftop, some boys like that. Are you ready? I'm gonna do a special version of the song, innit? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Can I go? Oh shit? I taught him this. This is my boy, I taught him. Take my picture, cheese. Okay, let's start again. One, two, three, let's go. Yo, take my picture, cheese. I know we're big, yeah, we also big overseas. Guys around the world are feeling our steeze, and the ladies are screaming it. See? The sauce in the spotlight with our own clothing line. You know we look tight. Make cheddar faster that we can spend it. Got our own comics investments in Germany. But 35, I own my own jet. Mash your bottle leg and I ain't done yet Wait a minute, I'm losing direction I feel foolish, I need your correction Put first the kingdom, my brothers And those things you boast for, Najara Lord, please bring me back If you have to hit my head like a conga stop, let's go Ori mi wu o alagima Yes, he walks with me Yes, yes, he walks with me Ori mi wu o Hello. Dear Lord, yes I'm back again I need you to pull me back on track again Save me, cause it's slowly going the same Maybe I should take time to explain He gave me the music, but I abused it He did rap fame and yes I misused it Every other night your help, I refused it I don't understand how I got confused It seems like I'm addicted to the mic and the limelight Sacrifice, rhyming right, just to rhyme tight Paragraphs, paragraphs in interviews Polographs, paragraphs in reviews It ain't hard to see, I'm not being true Not to the public, but to you Lord, what I'm saying is We know the way of my flesh needs slaying Ori, mi, wu, oh, el, a, gi, ma Yes, he walks with me Yes, yes, he walks with me Jesus, he walks with me. Yes, yes, he walks with me. Yeah, only me. Oh, and I give more. Jesus, he walks with me. Yes, yes, he walks with me. Papa, only me. Oh, and I give more. And I give more. My head is spinning like a carousel from all the tension And I cannot deny that I'm enjoying the attention The crowd is cheering loudly The world is looking at me And for one second I forget That this is not about me Now the spotlight's on me If the world could only see that I'm just another vessel bringing glory unto thee Don't let it get to my head Please save me, Lord, from my flesh And kill my hidden pride Until I'm broken deep inside Jesus, he 
Ladies and gentlemen, it was wonderful being with you. I now present to you the gift of God, Cobham's Asukwa! Power Connections and the City of Leeds. I want us to do something right now. I want it to be special. I want it to come from our hearts. And I want, what's today's date? I want it to be recorded in the Book of Remembrance that on the 21st of July, 2017, the city of Leeds in a blessed space called Power Connections, some people raised a praise and it made God happy. Don't do it yet, don't do it yet, don't do it yet, don't do it yet, don't do it yet. I'm going to call for it and I want it to be intentional. Children of God, praise the Lord. Amen. Can we sing a little together before um, I share my songs with you? He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, he has risen from the dead. Oh, he is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue in this room and the world over confess that Jesus. Jesus Christ because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know He holds my future And my life is worth living just Only just Because He Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Lord, you are holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old. Who 
was like unto thee. Oh, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, no one like you, Lord, who is like unto thee. Oh, 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 who is like unto thee? Oh, oh, Lord, among the gods, who is like you, Father, you are glorious, glorious in holiness. And you are fearful in presence. You are always doing wonder. Some of you may not know this song, but I'll sing it. I'll share it anyway in the place of worship. Wonder working God you are. You know, I'm Nigerian and I'm not Yoruba, but I love the Yoruba language for a specific reason. There are certain things that when it describes um, it doesn't just describe them with one ambiguous, one word that we don't understand. So when, when, when Yoruba describes blessing, it, it says ibuku, meaning full measure. Ibuku, meaning it, it, it is measured until it is full. When it describes, you know, the wonder working God, it says iyanu, meaning it's that thing that makes you open your mouth. Like you're just, you're literally just in that place of surprise. Like, is this even possible? You know, it's so, you know, it, it refers to a king as kabiosi, meaning, you know, you cannot be questioned because everything that God says or does is right from the jump, from the start, from the get-go. You know, and so I love it. I love it. Because otherwise we'd be wasting our time. Like, what are we doing here? This cannot be for Shango. It just can't. It makes no sense. It can't be for Dagon or Baal or Buddha or I don't know. Like, it can't be for any of them. Let's be honest, guys, because... We're busy people, and if I understand this city well, right, you, you go out and you work and you get paid, you could be doing something else with your time. But look, we, we, no matter what people say, we know that we serve a God whose name is Jehovah Sabaoth. What that means is he's a God who is a God of battle, the battles. He's mighty in battle. He fights our battles. So when we raise worship to him, it means that he is exalted far above and beyond any other thing it's such a wonder it's such a wonder it means that if it's a problem that is ours if it is a good thing if it's a it doesn't matter what it is god is just above it and that's why we're here so we have hope we have hope i think about it and i think about a lot of people who go through a lot of things i'm like how can you go through these things without jesus i'd have lost my mind i know me i know me i would have lost my mind so we have hope and Christ in us is the hope of glory. Glory, glory is beautiful. You know what I mean? It, it shines. It's, it's crowning. It's, it's lovely. You know, so he's, he's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful God. And we're so happy, Father, to just be in your presence and just mention you. There are people who probably don't know you. They're not, they're here. They're rational-minded, logical-thinking people. But the honest truth is, you defy logic. And so it can't make sense to some people. They're like, you know what, these people have been brainwashed. But I know the things I've experienced. I know the things i experienced. I ought not to be here. I don't deserve to be here. I do not deserve. I know it. I know it. I know it. I don't deserve half the things that have happened to my life. Not with the kinds of things I've done. Not with the kinds of person I am. But God counted me worthy. Do you know if we were to go by the Bible, by the Old Testament by itself, the fact that I'm a blind person, I shouldn't even be on the altar of God raising praise. 
You understand? Because everything that is brought before him is without blemish. He has specifications on the things, the kinds of animals that you should sacrifice to him. But Jesus came and shed his blood and made me worthy. Look, I don't care what you've done today. Jesus' blood is speaking for you. And God is that good. He is that good. My God, you are good. My God, my God, you are good. <laughs> You're so good to me. Oh, my God, you are good. My God, you are good. Yes, you are. <laughs> Lord, oh. oh, blessed Savior, you are good. Oh, God, you are. <laughs> oh, God. Only you can make a 90-year-old woman start laughing. Because of the kind of wondrous things that you say, only you can part the Red Sea. Like you just, just do amazing things. I think. You are so good. And you do these things because you love us. You know why the goodness of God is beyond anything that anyone can ever do? If you are the luckiest woman here, maybe your husband buys you roses. Maybe he gives you, I don't know, your treats, whatever. Look, my God parted the Red Sea. Nothing can compare to that. Science has not been able to replicate that in all of its, its evolving you know, discoveries and wisdom and all that. He caused the sun to stand still because he wanted to give victory to his children. Like if you look at the Bible and the things, except you want to contest it that it did not happen. But I don't think that these people have the nerve to even do that. They do documentaries, all kinds of things. But at the end of the, at, at the, end of the day, they're still the ones who will come and talk about the Shroud of Turin and all these other things, you know, that are, you know, um, empirical facts that Jesus came and that, you know, so God is good. God is good. God is good that he would sacrifice his son and just give us liberty. Father, thank you. Thank you. We don't have a lot to bring to you. This is our worship. This is our hearts. We just recognize that you are good. And we just want you to know that we know that you are good. I don't even know what that does for you immediately. I hope it gladdens your heart. I pray it gladdens your heart. But your word says that you are good and that your mercies endure forever. And that's just what I want to celebrate. That's what Power Connections wants to celebrate today. You know, you're good. You're good. You're amazing. And because you're God and because you're here, Power Connections is a voice in leads. Because, you know, because you are good, you know, you're raising men and women of standard, of valor, of principles, of people who are just different in their business, different in everything else they do. But it is because you are good that a stubborn city that has decided that, you know, you, you, you don't matter anymore. You, the founder of this land, don't matter anymore. But you will still cause rain to fall on them and sun to shine on them. And you will still get your people to congregate, to pray, even for this land, that there will be healing. You are a good God, and we love you. That's, we're just here to celebrate you. That's all this is about. And to just exhort ourselves, you know, one another in love. Father, let no word that we speak here, let us not be ensnared by it. Um, let the words that we speak here not um, stand and judge us. Let us speak life and truth, and let everyone who hears from you today, because it's really you speaking through us. You know, like we speak foolishly if we speak on our, of our, of our own, own accord. So... Let us hear from you. Let us be better people. Let us live here changed. Let us live here with love in our hearts. That's the evidence that you are in us. It's the love that we're able to freely give because you are love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we've prayed and worshipped. Amen. I want to share a few songs with you. Sit if you will, please. Thanks. Wow. This is such a lovely place. I don't know what it is about you guys, but... It's lovely. I, I, just, I just want to be here and worship with you. I feel so vulnerable and so unashamed and so, you know, in my truth space, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm really excited. So I celebrate you guys. You are wonderful. 
So you see, Jesus talks about um, giving us a gift. That's the Holy Spirit, right? When he was about to depart. He did not want to leave us uncomforted. So he gave us the comforter. Um, but unlike him who came and walked the surface of this earth, he gave us the spirit of God that is able to live in our hearts. You know, like I tell people in Nigeria, I don't know how many of us are Nigerians here, but I'll just, you know, in Nigeria, when somebody says waka, it means your mother. It's derogatory. It's an abuse. But the truth is, if you drive in Lagos traffic, it only takes the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in your heart not to be tempted at least once to do somebody waka. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's fact. It's fact. But God in your heart just changes everything. So that even when you're in the right, and when you should argue, and when you should shout, and when you should fight, you just cannot smile and look at something and just pass. And you're like, you know what? You're only swallowing. You just go. <laughs> Sometimes, though, we have to stand up and do what's right. Sometimes we have to speak. We cannot be peacekeepers. We're called to be peacemakers. So there's a place for standing up and fighting for what is right. But... You know, there are some things that will just test you for no good reason. And the devil likes that because it's a distraction. But what I'm talking about right now is the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and how it just changes us and makes us better people. Like, we would be surprised. I have friends of mine who tell me, you should have known me before now. Or it's, as a matter of fact, it's good that you don't know me. Or you did not know me then. Because the Spirit of God works such a wonder in you and just makes you a better person. And just, you know, and that's what I want to call because you know we can't enjoy this time that we're in you know without the indwelling of the whole i mean i know some of us already have him but there are some of us who still struggle who you know it's on and off and what and please for the sake of those can i just share this song that's in my heart a song titled make our hearts your home so the holy spirit will dwell in each and every one of us and we'll just have an amazing time glory in his, in his presence and it's not just empty highfalutin just you know just a frenzy you know Ah 
hearts your dwelling place, Lord Jesus, make our hearts your own. Make our hearts your home. Make our hearts your home. Make our hearts your dwelling place, Lord Jesus, make our hearts your home. Father, you said that we, we should not let our hearts be troubled, Jesus, that you would give us one who will teach us all things and all truth. And we refer to him so many names in the Bible. The spirit of burning, of light, of truth. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. We know that he makes us better. And so, we want people to see the Holy Spirit in the little things we do. In our jobs, in how we sign our checks, in how we talk to people. In because we might just be the Jesus that some people will see. So we sing this song with understanding that you will indeed make our hearts your home. Sing with me if you want. Oh, make our hearts your home. Make our hearts your home. Lord, make our hearts your dwelling place. Lord Jesus, make our hearts your have been happening in the world and it's funny how sometimes when things begin to happen you know we're always looking for <laughs> new solutions when you know um the old reliable solutions are there and you know as the good book says not the bible the good book if it ain't broke don't fix it uh, but we like to <laughs> we like to fix it and find new solutions to some things um so there's a place from where we ought to receive instruction because of who we are you know, um, the Bible talks about how the foolish man builds his house upon the sand, blah, 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 and how the wise man builds his house upon the rock. But what I find interesting is, you know, just the stability of the rock and the rock being able to, you know, make space and take us in and give us sound instruction. And, you know, and this rock is Jesus, you know, and it's the rock that just never fails. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, you know, we sing, we used to sing that song a lot, you know, at least I used to sing it perfunctorily as a child. I'm standing on the rock, I never fail. Well, the honest truth is, it does not fail. And, you know, we've come to a time in life when we can't but go back to that rock. Because, you know, that's where, in the cleft of the rock, that's where we're strong. You know, that's where we receive sound instruction. That's where we become better people. You know, because if we don't go there, what are the options we have? TV and the Kardashians, like, it, it just, you know, it, it doesn't even come together. So I'm going to sing an old hymn that I love very much because, you know, it speaks to my heart. And thank you, Brother Changwe, for sharing that beautiful hymn. I hope that we can do something together before the end of this set. But let's keep going. Um, let me sing the hymn that's after my heart. If you know it, please join me and sing. A lot of people think it's a funeral song. I don't agree.
Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded sign which flow be of sin double Save from wrath and make me pure. Nothing in my hands I to the cross I cling make it come to thee for dress helpless look to thee for grace foul light to the fountain fly wash me say I die said this several times and sometimes I kind of feel like I'm saying it to the same people but I have to remember that I'm not because you know while your experience is your experience to you it's always a reminder to someone else of who God is and you know the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ you know has been preached for over 2,000 years and it's still the same so you know if God has given you a message to preach through your life you know it's the same he doesn't necessarily have to redoctor it or anything. It just it is what it is. I'm saying that to say that, you know, I've learned that a lot of times we we raise God high or we call God as big as the last thing he did for us. And you know this because when we come into a new situation or a new circumstance, we have a new kind of worry. But the honest truth is, you know, whether or not we choose to worry that situation and any other situation yet to be invented that is big god is bigger than it and you know it's hard to believe it's hard to believe when the facts are in front of you you know when it's on paper when the honest truth is you know 
whether or not you believe that God is bigger than it, God is bigger than it. What you actually need the belief for is for it to manifest itself in your life. So if you don't believe that God can do it for you and it doesn't happen for you, it doesn't mean that someone else is not going to get it because they believe. Because God is able. And because of that, I've learned to believe. I, I, if I tell you the things that I believe that God can do, you'd be shocked. But I believe 100%. And so he's my glorious deliverer. He's able to deliver me from not some, not from most, but from all. Every form of trial, every form of tribulation, everything that is a concern, he's able to deliver me from it. We'll talk more about that as we progress. Let me share this song with you. Gloria Mighty God, ancient of days, strong and mighty conqueror, bright and morning star, beautiful beyond compare, perfect Lord in all your ways. You are worthy of my praise. Mighty God, ancient of days, strong and mighty conqueror, bright morning star, beautiful beyond compare, perfect Lord in all your ways. You are worthy of Are God, you are bigger than what they say you are. You are God, far more beautiful than they say you are. You're a strong tower, comforter, constable, and Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, age to age you stay the same, beautiful is who you are. Falling down before your throne, the four and twenty all proclaim, Holy is the Lamb. Everything that you have made, all the angels and your saints, we declare, we declare your King. Basi sang this song, and I always sing it at this point. I love it. It says, You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You 
are God it can't be contended oh you are God from the beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God oh my it doesn't matter what it is he's God and he's above it that's all we need to know you are God from the beginning God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Glorious deliverer, mighty God, ancient of days, strong and mighty conqueror, bright and morning star, oh, beautiful beyond compare. Perfect Lord in all your ways. You are worthy of my praise. Give him glory, please. Can we just celebrate Jesus? Thank you. I think about it and I say to myself, um, and I'm sure that I, <laughs> when I was born and, you know, God, my parents, my parents are wonderful people. They didn't, they didn't have much, but they had love. They had a lot of it. And, you know, since that was all they could give me, like they gave me like in excess, you know, and when you give someone love, you give them God. You know what I mean? You, you probably don't realize when you give someone love, you give them God. Um, all that just remains is for you to lead them to, you know, the knowledge of the grace of Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's just complete. So my parents give me a lot of love. Um, because, quite honestly, you know, when you're born in the 80s and you're born blind, the enemy generally just assumes that the work is done. Like, it's not going to go very far from here on. But, you know, the enemy should read books. Because if he did, <laughs> you'd know that, you know, the internet would come and... How we use computers would change and you know blind people will be able to have voiceover and things like that and we can actually read and study but hey that's another story for another day the reason i mentioned this to you is because i've come to understand that you know like joseph said you know when he his brothers were brought before him you know what you meant for evil you know god has turned it around for good and, you know, I look at my life and I was talking with someone. Um, I went to visit a friend, you know, it was her birthday. And someone else came out to me. I was like, I was going to drink a mixture of kerosene and something else. I don't remember what it was. But that you came on TV and you were talking and you were just talking about how your life is this and how you have blah, blah, blah. And I looked at myself and I felt so stupid. I was like, why am I going to do this? Look at this guy. I cannot see and look how he feels about his life. And I'm like, God, if that's all you're going to get out of this, then I'm fine with it. Make no mistake about it. I don't think God goes around making people blind and deaf and lame and all of that. Uh -uh. God's, you know, he's into, he, he, his will for us, everything that is him about us is good and perfect. But he's so God that, you know, he will glory in himself even if, you know, the situation doesn't um, appeal immediately. And I think that that's what's happened with me, you know what I mean, when I think about it. But, you know, it can happen with you and you're not conscious about it. And when you're not conscious about it, it's such a waste. You know, when God gives you all of these talents and all of these skills and all of these influence and connects and stuff, and all you do with it is just feel like you're all that. But the honest truth is, it's valueless if ultimately it doesn't give God praise. And the reason I'm telling you this is because this is, you know, the whole idea of this weekend is impact, right? And if there is one thing that I want to leave you with is that I'm a living testimony of the goodness of God. You understand? And I am 100% proud of it. But it is only so because, I mean, he, he won't take his gifts on me. His gift, you know, they come without repentance. But it is only so because, you know, somehow he guided me to be sensible enough to recognize that this too can praise him. 
So the reason I'm saying that is there are a lot of you who are looking for amazing things to praise God for. Look at me. Okay, look at me. I think that's amazing enough. And look at the situation in your life that you feel like, wow, why in the world do I have to deal with this? But the honest truth is how you deal with it and how you raise a song of praise in that space, you know, gives value, not just to the situation, but to the story of your life at the end of the day. So I'm going to sing a song that glorifies God in the good time and in the bad time and gives meaning to everything that we do so that ultimately everything we do gives God praise. Lord, I come before you here today So unworthy of your grace But you give it to me anyway So I've come to give you praise Lord, I'm thankful for how you've made me an example of your grace so let everything I say and do oh Jesus let it give you praise so when the world applaud when they see me and the people call my name May it never be, Lord, about me, but for your glory and your fame. For I cannot create a single hair, nor can I tell the wind to blow. So let the words I speak the songs I sing, let my blessings, Lord, let everything point to Jesus as my Lord and King. Oh, let me live in praise of you. Lord, I know sometimes it's hard to deal with the trials you allow. But I know they come to make me strong. So let me see the good somehow. Lord, let me praise you in my valley. When my heart is overwhelmed Let me not forget your faithfulness And how you have always been my help So when trouble comes And my friends go And I feel so all alone let me lift a song of praise to you, a melody of my own. For there is nothing that I am or have that you did not give to me. So in my darkest hour, when all seems lost, let me sing about your wondrous works and tell everyone that God is love. Oh, let me live in praise of you. When my work is done, and my time has come And you call me home to you 
When people ask how did I live my life Let people say in praise of you And if the world remembers anything That I may have left behind Let my greatest legacy, Lord, be that I praised you with my life for my life is nothing that's of worth if it cannot give you praise so let the gifts that you have given me be an everlasting praise to and my motivation always be Lord that I live in praise of you oh, 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 oh. What do I do while I'm waiting for you? Oh, thank you. Yes! Would you like for us to do something? I'd love it. Oh, yeah. His voice is so amazing. Uh, let me get a microphone. Okay, okay. Sorry, uh, we're family now, right? Okay, so we can just be all right, right? And just uh, enjoy the fullness of joy that there is in the presence of God, right? Okay. Like I heard his voice and I was like, wow, wow, wow. We've got to do something <laughs> together. So, we don't even know what we're going to do. Like, he doesn't know. I don't know. I just called him up. But look, man, we're going to glorify God and it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, let's just do it. What do you want to do? Tell me. Hmm. Okay, you will lead that. Okay. Jesus is 
way Jesus says yes For the world today Above him there's no one Jesus says way You want to take think Jesus is the answer for me Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no <laughs> Only for Jesus, so this is sure. <laughs> for the world today, I believe there's no one. No one. Jesus is. Go one more round. Go one more round. Go one more round. Go one more round. Jesus is the answer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Absolutely no way out. When you're struggling with a marriage, struggling with your spouse, struggling with your health, struggling with sickness, when you just don't have answers to the questions, even when you're feeling good at the right time of your life, every single time, no Jesus is. So this guy is my new musical brother. <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you, Chango. Wow. <laughs> I enjoyed that. How many of you did? <laughs> it was lovely. It was really nice. It was really nice. It was really nice. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, wow, time is far spent. And, uh, well, we have to go. Sometimes the beauty of God and, you know, just, you know, the reasons why we should worship him and not the things that, you know, we like to think are. Sometimes just the gift of salvation by itself is enough reason to worship him. The, the, the grace to fight temptation is enough reason to worship him. So you're not only going to roll on the floor and God gives you a new car or a new house or a new job. Or, you know, God is, God is still God even when he gives you grace, when he gives you salvation, when he gives you a test and you come through it, you know, as fine gold and you're just that much more amazing than you were the last time and you're a better person for your spouse to be or your spouse in the immediate or, you know, for your family or for whatever. You know, God is just amazing, you know, at all times. So, 
celebrate him at all times if we will please have you read the papers do you hear what they say rising unemployment cost of living every day is getting high another suicide bummer in a bus with 13 kids please take that out kind of makes me wonder what those children ever did Yet we still go to church and sing shout to the Lord and we lift up holy hands and we're reading his word. Now I'm sitting by my piano with nothing to play. But that doesn't change the fact that God is God anyway. So I sing bless you. Through my trials and all my troubles, I have come with a heart of worship. For the gift of your Son, for the grace to fight my battles, I have come to you with thanksgiving. Hear my humble cry, see my broken spirit, knowing every situation. I'll still choose to worship you. Please forgive me, this is not your normal worship song. I try to write a simple song that me and everyone could sing along. But I realize that there is something about praise It shouldn't only come when all is seemingly okay So when you start to cry like your life is a mess Don't be scared, don't be discouraged It is only a test Why don't you lift up your voice to the ears of your God and release sweet smelling savor from your alabaster box singing bless ye the Lord through my trials and all my troubles I have come with a heart of worship for the gift of your son for the grace to fight my battles I have come to you with thanksgiving though the flower dies see the grasses wither and when trouble multiplies i will still choose to worship you i worship you almighty god what a mighty god we serve who is that like you Jesus, lover of my soul, holy God to whom all praise is due. Blessed be the He will make a oh, you are highly oh, oh, oh bless ye the Lord through my trials and all my troubles I have come with the heart for the gift of your son for the grace to fight my battles I have come to you with thanksgiving saying hear my humble cry see my broken spirit knowing every situation I'll still choose to worship Worship God together and we bow down and worship Yahweh. Only you, Lord, only you, Lord, only you, Lord. We bow down and worship Yahweh. 
time when it has value is the only time when it makes sense. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Don't stop praising him. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, to you be glory and honor and power and praise and majesty, oh God, oh, oh, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah.
blessed tonight. Um, the CDs outside, um, Cobra and Super CDs outside there, so you can buy CDs ten pounds. So while you're going that way, you can meet the ushers, or you can sit outside there, so you can buy and be blessed in Jesus' name. time now. Can you dip your hands in your pocket and give to God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we rise as we praise God and offer unto him this evening? What a mighty God we serve. Come on. Give him your dance offering this evening. Hey. What a mighty God we serve. Of heaven and the earth, what a mighty God we serve! I will always put you first. Everybody, now there are no words that I can say to glorify the greatest. When all that tyrant came to say, I will still proclaim your reminding God say, your reminding God say, your reminding God say, your reminding God say, your reminding God, your mighty, your mighty, I will still proclaim God is able to do just what he says he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. Hallelujah. He's able. Everybody, God is able. God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise. Don't give up on God. Cause He won't give up on you. He's able. He's able. Oh, 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 he's able. Now you say. Oh, 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 oh,
Rico. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship we want our God. Every praise, every praise is to our. Are you convinced? Every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship we want to call. Every praise, every praise. Hallelujah to the Lord. He's to my God. Glory, hallelujah. He's to my God. Say every praise. Every praise. Every praise. He's to my God. One more time. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. He's to my God. Glory, hallelujah. He's to my God. Say every praise. Every praise. Every praise. God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. I got his healer, awesome in power. I got, I got, if you know, let's go. I got his greater, I say, I got his strong, Lord, you are, you are higher than any other. I got his healer, awesome in power. I got, I got, I got his greater, I say, I got his greater, stronger. Then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what 
can stand and leave us. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? Then what can stand again? My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer Hallelujah to Jesus. If you have been blessed tonight, can you shout a big hallelujah? I'm not convinced. I'm sure it can be better because indeed our God has blessed us tremendously. If you know that indeed tonight has been your night and you know that testimony will follow your praise tonight, come and shout a glorious, thunderous hallelujah! Well, my job is very simple tonight. I'm just um, to come here to share the grace and the music will continue. Uh, but before I do that, I want to say thank you to every one of us. I want to say thank you to our guests. I want to say thank you to Chanwe. Thank you very much for coming. God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. I want to say a big thank you to um, the one that says, uh, Hallelujah. You know, when you are with God, some of your crease is normal with God. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you to Snatcher. God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. And I want to say thank you all the way from God's own country. Hallelujah. Uh, for the first time in Leeds and definitely not the last time. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate. Kobam Sasuko. Come on, celebrate. It. Hallelujah. 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 I mean... Um, I, I've seen him, you know, from afar a long time ago. Seeing him today, in fact, I feel more blessed. And I just want to pray that God will make you a blessing continuously in the name of Jesus. I remember when I graduated from the university, there's a brother, Brother Dejo, you know, I said to my father, look at this man. He's blessed in all ways, in all ways, but in sight. And he graduated very well. One of those things he said when we were at the university was that God said to him, despite your um, situation, you have no excuse. In other words, I have graced you in other ways, though you cannot see. And brother, they just said, God's minister to him, you have no excuse. I just want to ask you tonight, if Jesus Christ calls you tonight, would you have an excuse? Will the things that you think he has not done, will they be your excuse? But like he has encouraged us tonight, we have no excuse. In other things that God has not done, he has done much more in other ways. And I pray that at the end of it, we'll all meet in heaven in the name of Jesus. And all the crew that came with um, um, Asuko want to say thank you. God will bless you in the name of Jesus as you help him, as you serve, I mean, you, you make his life comfortable. God will send men to make your life comfortable in the name of Jesus. And finally, I want to say thank you to all the people that make this um, event a success. I want to say thank you to um, Sister Felicia. God bless you. Abundantly appreciate her. I want to say thank you to Brother Dio. God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. I want to say thank you to the ever-present, ever-able Brother Femi. Come on, appreciate him. I want to say thank you to Brother Ola um, Timikuros. God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Brother Lai, we celebrate you in the name of Jesus and everyone. We just want to say thank you. And finally, there's one person that it is only you that can celebrate. Hallelujah. If anybody does it, they can only try. And if I don't call that person, I'm sure this service should not end. 
and that person is you. Come on, celebrate yourself tonight. Celebrate yourself tonight. Hallelujah. Celebrate yourself tonight. Hallelujah. It's a busy, a very busy weekend for some of us. Um, tomorrow, there's another service. And on Sunday, uh, the youth service as well. It's our family month, so it's been very busy. And I pray that God will grant every one of us grace in Jesus' name. Um, as we share the grace, um, don't just walk away. Make friends with one or two people. And um, I think um, Changwe is the most blessed person. He's got another brother from another mother. Hallelujah. I I'm jealous of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Come and say to yourself with conviction and say, Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Don't be too selfish. Come and look at your neighbor, bow eye to bow eye, and give it to that person powerfully and say, Surely. Thank you for coming to Leeds. Um, it's been a wonderful night. Uh, we just want to use this opportunity to get to know you uh, better. Um, to start with, I will just ask, who is um, Kovam Asoko beyond probably um, what people say to you personally? What would you say Kovam Asoko is? So generally, I like to think of myself as, you know, the average guy next door. Um, I love my family, I love music, I love Jesus, I love coffee, I love good food. Um, I think that's, you know, as basic as it gets. Um, I'm a singer, song, a songwriter, music producer, um, and um, I've made music for a lot of people. I've, you know, been making my own music um, more recently. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's why I am. I think it's pretty simple, very uncomplicated. You know, I love the things I've mentioned. Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. God, ancient of days, strong and mighty conqueror. How, how did you uh, learn to play the piano so well? How did I learn to play the piano? Oh my goodness. Um, so I had a friend who um, had a little eight key piano and wouldn't let me play it. And that <laughs> made me cry a lot. So. Um, another friend of mine gave me sister's piano and told me never to play it outside because if she saw it, she'd take it back <laughs> because she didn't play it herself. Mm. And my godfather got me a tiny Casio keyboard, which, you know, was, I mean, that literally just, you know, was my revolution. It just, you know, turned everything around and I started playing for the church. I was born Catholic, so obviously I was playing for the Catholic church. And then I started playing the organ when I was really young and, you know, it just kind of progressed from there. I joined the school band in primary school. You know, I had amazing music teachers. And, yeah, I mean, life just, it, it just happened. Like, I guess music was just something, you know, that I was born to do. And, you know, the minute I found the piano and figured out, you know, how to navigate my way, you know, around it, it just sort of began to happen. So a lot of my piano playing is self-taught. Obviously, there's, you know, there have been mentors, you know, along the way who have helped me um, just hold my skill and become it. You are bigger than what they say you are. Asuka has uh, always been good like musically, um, he could play like different instruments, um, he was very gifted like I said, you know, you, you could tell he was really blessed and he was going to go far. Um, but one thing that I can remember, I think I can remember, is when he represented my school um, in a debate, 
um, so that is like a big achievement for you like in the school of sighted and you know he's, he's competing with so many sighted people but for him to be um, you know considered good enough you know to re represent this is King's College we're talking about so you could tell like this guy was very sharp and very good It's almost cliche to say that, you know, I enjoyed my administration at Power Connections, but I think what's, you know, even more profound and what stands out is um, just the, the air that allows me to be vulnerable, that allows me to, uh, you know, make, uh, connect with my own, for want of a better way to put it. You know, I felt like, you know, before God, you know, we're all just equal and all just, you know, ready to bring in worship and just minister to each other and just exhort one another. And, it, you know, it felt like a meeting. It felt like a meeting. It felt like, you know, our minds were aligned and we, we were ready to receive and you were ready to share with each other. So it was a very naked and unashamed, you know, honest experience. And I like that. I feel like, you know, that's what I'm about. That's what I like to do. Um, um, you know, we're all, we're all striving for perfection. You know, Jesus talks about, you know, how we should be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. And so, you know, we're, we're all sort of in that place of beautiful imperfection where we're getting better. And it's beautiful when we're able to come together and just accept that, you know, God is holy and God is perfect and God is making us more like Him, you know, every day, you know, with the songs we sing, with the words we say, with the words we read, you know, with just being among each other and, you know, letting iron sharpen iron. And I think that was what happened tonight. So it was a very honest experience where I didn't just feel like I was blessing people, I felt like I was being blessed myself. My friend at Thanabasi sang this song and I always sing it out at this point. I love it. It says, You were God from beginning to end. There's no place for argument. You are God. It can't be contended. Oh, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no for argument, you are God Almighty. It doesn't matter what it is, He's God and He's above it. That's all we need to know. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Mighty God, ancient of days, strong and mighty conqueror, bright and morning star, oh, beautiful beyond compare, perfect Lord in all your ways. You are worthy of my Please, can we just celebrate Jesus? Thank you.